Okay, this is the uh, Fabrique Nationale Hairstall FS2000, uh, caliber 5.56. Um, I've got some uh, uh, brass ammunition loaded in here. An important thing to uh, just be aware of right off the bat, this weapon will not feed steel case ammunition at all. Um, you know, you can get one round off, maybe, and that's about it. Um, and uh, it will also only take aluminum magazines. Because of the way the, uh, the entry is set up, when the magazine seats in, you might actually be able to hear how tight it is. Um, you certainly can when you're pulling it out. You know, it's definitely a tight fit, and the P-Mags will not fit, so it's got to be the aluminum magazines. Um, I believe the Surefire 60 rounds, 100 rounds will fit, um, but I've never actually done it. So, uh, I've only used the 30 rounds. If you use the 20, it would probably cut off right about there, and then good luck getting your magazine back out. Um, one of the things you'll notice about the rifle, the first five rounds are not going to eject. There is um, a little door right here, and I'm going to close that door. So as the rounds are fired, the, the empties actually travel in a little tube down here, and they just kind of sit inside the gun, and then they're all just kind of bleh, and they're all going to fall here right by my feet. Um, and then I'll you know shoot the rest of the rounds. I've only loaded up 10 charging handles here on the side, and it should be good to go. still closed. It should open up on this one. Yep, there we go. So, it was actually the seventh round or everything kind of bleh out. Okay, the weapon's now empty. I fired off the ten rounds I had put into the magazine. In order to check it, you actually lift up the back, and then you pull the handle back, turn it up, and let me grab the camera. Go. And we can get in there and you can kind of see, hopefully, um, that's actually the breech. That's where you check and make sure that you're empty. The uh, EOTech, it's an EOTech L3. Um, and it looks just like your standard EOTech. I don't know how well that's going to show up here on the camera, but we'll see. Um, you can change the brightness and all that. Uh, the, uh, the rifle itself is... Um, it's it's pretty well balanced. Um, you know when you are uh, when you're holding the rifle out, it's it's about midpoint as far as the balance goes. It is a full length barrel. The barrel does start right about here, and so as far as accuracy goes, you do have a full 17 and a half inch, I believe, uh, barrel. So it's not your standard, uh, um, or it's not a it's not a short barrel rifle or anything. It is a full length barrel. Um, so. The, uh, the magazine, again, you just push the release and pull the mag out, and as I showed, you know, clearing it. The uh, little grip up here up front can be replaced with one that has a rail on it, if you so wish. You can also put a rail up here on the top. There is a really flimsy, really flimsy back rear emergency sight, um, which does work with that front sight. Let's see if I can't get that in there. There you go which does work with the front sight, but uh, it, it is flimsy. So you're definitely going to want to have some kind of an optic um, or uh, at least put on some kind of a rear sight.